So you figure some chronomists? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, still chronomists usually. Better be chronomists. Yeah, yeah, there'll be something. Got to get the that. indicator out. Today we got a great show. We're with Brian Chan, who's the angling advisor for the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, and the Bulldog. Of course, my brother Dale. We're at Heffley Lake. What are you thinking today? Well, it's the third week. Well, actually, it's the last week of June. Yeah. And there still should be some chronomids. Yep. Could be some maize. Could be some damsels. Maybe even some okay. caddis. So we got to look around today, but uh, we'll find something. Excellent. You know, last time we were here was probably eight years ago. We were talking about that on the way up. We had that big shoal, which I really yeah. was intrigued by. We got on there, saw the fish on the shoals, we were able to pick them off. Pretty exciting. Yeah, and they're not huge fish in the lake, but three, three and a half pounds would be a big one, but uh, hopefully there will be more than a few and of them. And that's what I like about the smaller fish. You know, you usually get the numbers and you get lots of action. So hopefully it's going to be a good day for that. You bet. So today, it's Heffley Lake as we take you sport fishing on the fly. First time, Brian, with a new late break chronomid. The test. The test. Brand new style. See if it works. I've got radical in my time. <laughs> he had to eat it. <laughs> nice. The late break chronomid, Brian. It worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Little guy to start, but nice fish. Ah, it's this little guy. Big enough to pump. You gonna give him a throw sample? Oh yeah. See what he's feeding on? Look at that, right on the top of the lip. So the cool thing was Brian mentioned he saw some uh, he saw some Chiabras. Chiabras pupa. Which are glass worms, but when they come up they're green, right? They're green. The pupa are green yep. and then they come off in the green. So I got a little light bright crown in it that's <laughs> got a nice green tinge to it. It looks like a Chiabras pupa. Yep. Yeah. And uh, stripped it in, boom, I got eat it. So now we can actually check, so I'll hold that. Nice fish done. Yeah. We'll let him go. Yeah, there he is there. Off he goes, nice and little let's guy. See, let's see what he ate. Kind of swimming away. What's in there? Oh, <laughs> look at that, look at the big, <laughs> the big scud. <laughs> the big <laughs> the scud. Big scud. <laughs> oh, that is. That's big. That's a big shrimp, wow. That's it. And that's it. So no glass worms or are there some glass worms in there? No, well, there's one adult Chiabras in there yeah, and that's it. That's no it. Pupa. Wow. All right, think... well, he ate it. He ate he the ate pupa, it. so that's good. I'm going to keep trucking out there and see. Yep, good job. Right on. What was that? Was he on there before or what? I don't know. No, I just moved it and he whacked it. Oh, and he ate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just let that one go, and Brian hooked one. Another pumper. Yeah, because that last fish uh, only had, Our only favorite. had a, a scud in there. And there Excellent. he is. Nice. All right, a quick look there, Don. Yeah. I got the net. Yeah. Oh yeah, just top lip. Yeah, he ate it. Yeah, what was that? Nice little uh, leech, yeah. little black leech. Little black leech. Oh yeah, he's got stuff in there. Something's in there. Something's in there. There you go. Yeah, nice little guy. All right, let's see what, see what he was eating. There you go. Oh, there you go. Chiabras. Oh, was it Chiabras? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a few of them in there. Oh, yeah, they're oh, Chiabras. They are. Oh, yeah. I'm going to downsize. So that's Chiabras then. I'm putting a little Chiabras pupa on. That could be a good one for the bench, Brian. I think that so. Chiabras pupa. Cool.
He's not changing from the light bright. They <laughs> like it. They like it. <laughs> it's close enough. If I got him to tweak and eat it, it's good. It's Way to go, dog. <laughs> that's better. Hey, Brian, that's a nice size. Oh, beautiful fish. Yeah, we got to check this one out. That's a nice fish, though. Look at yeah. the size of that guy. That's got some meat. That's a better fish. Yeah, it's old. They haven't started really. Yeah, that's a nice one. Chowing down today. That's got some weight too, man. Eh, beautiful that's fish. A couple pounds, eh? Oh yeah, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. So yeah, nice. Good job. So now what? Yeah, I see you've changed like four or five times. <laughs> like you just, what are you doing? Like you're searching out different colors. Right? Yeah, every fish we've pumped has, has had a few small green people in them. So just trying to trying different green shades of green sizes, trying to get a little closer to what's really coming off. They're yeah. definitely looking for them. You see, we've seen them. Look at our flies and yeah. they turn away. So yeah. that's and insulting. I get, the, I get the odd one eating mine. Yeah. But again, it's that nice uh, Kyabra's color. Right? Yeah. It's got a kind of a darker green tint to it. I think I used a, a bronzy uh, peacock curl light bright, but it works good. It's a winner. Hey, eh? I'm putting one on. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a new pattern that's a killer. I'm telling you, that light bright material is the best thing going. I tie everything with it now and it just, it works. Wow, that's another beauty, Brian. Oh, that's another great fish. Man, oh man, this is a nice fish in here. Another gorgeous fish. Boy, that guy puts a little meat on. He's going to be heavy. Yeah. Yeah, another. That's really nice. Yeah, because you know what? I've tied this on a size, size 12 hook or even size 14 hook, but I cheated, right? I, yeah. Kind of tied it short, so it does mimic that size. Yeah, right, it's yeah. very small, but yeah. it's got that nice green tinge to it. Yeah, and they're liking just... that. It's a bronzy peacock. Yeah, curl. maybe you know, sometimes we get we're trying to get too exact, but they're eating it. You know, I cast it out, I wait five minutes, and I'm catching fish. So, and they're you know what, they're really not truly on the feed yet, are they? He swam we're... out of the net. Oh, did he? <laughs> oh, he's gone. That was a nice fish, yeah, but. They're not really cranked up yet. No, no. Right, they're just starting to cruising through. We've seen them. It's like a neon light down there. It is. It must be because it's got uh, you know it's got the nice the nice bead. Yeah. A cheater cheater body. Yeah. Like it's Shorten small. It up. Shorten it up. Tied it real tight. Little gold rib, and just a little you know a little tuft on the top. But they're liking it. It's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> the Kiabas proof pupa. <laughs> That's got to be what it's imitating. Yeah. Has to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to tie the Chiabras or glassworm pupa. So a lot of anglers know what a glassworm is. It's that clear piece of jelly that's in the water that fish often feed on. Well, Chiabras are members of the Chironomid family. And when they pupate, the, pupate, the pupa are a very light olive green. And what distinguishes the Chiabras pupa from a Chironomid pupa is that the Chiabras pupa do not have white gills. So I'm gonna tie you the Chiabras pupa. That's a very important fly to have in your Stillwater fly box. For the hook, we'll use a size 14 Scud pupa, some 8 dot olive thread to tie with, a 5 32nd inch brown magic bead for the bead, some fine copper wire for the rib, and some pearl olive flashaboo for the body. So I've got my brown magic bead on the number 14 scud hook. I'm gonna take my 8 dot olive green thread and just wrap a thread base back to the bend of the hook. And then I'm gonna take fine regular copper wire, not red copper wire, just, uh, just the natural colored copper. It's gonna be the rib. And then I'm going to take a couple strands of uh, dyed over pearl olive flashaboo and uh, number 6969 when you, when you get it from your fly shop. So I've just got two strands of it here. And then I'm going to take it, take the two strands and put it around the uh, my tying thread. I'm just laying it down the shank of the 
hook back to the band then bringing my tying thread forward and I'm just using my tying thread to build up a bit of a taper like so so now I've ended up with four strands of the flashaboo and then I'm just bringing it right to the bead tying it off and then taking my copper wire and giving it five to seven segments. Calvary's pupa are typically pretty small. So 14s, maybe you can tie them on a 12, but 14 is probably the most common size you'll see swimming around in the water. And the big thing is no white gills. They have a brown thorax head area. And that's why I've used this brown bead. So you fish them just like you'd fish any other Conway pupa. Uh, under an indicator, of course, um, or with a floating line long leader. And there it is, green Chiabras pupa. Now this is my favorite. Look at that. We have calm, but now we got a nice little fresky riffle being built here. I love that because you get a great wind drift on your fly. Get a little little motion once in a while, a little pop, and the wind just carries it through, and you get to cover a lot better zone. You know, instead of just sitting static in one area, that wind just drifts it through a bunch of different areas, and it's fishing. I love a drift. Now what, you're changing again? <laughs> Every time I look over, you're changing. You know me. I know. <laughs> How come? Why? Well, we got the fresky riffle now. Oh. So it's blowing right towards us now, and so I can, I want to throw a little micro leech little marabou micro leach into the wind and drift it right back. Oh, get that nice drift on get the, the get motion. Get the action with that loop ah, knot. There you go, there's a little chance secret. Gotta try it. Gotta try it. Well, if it's worked in the past, it could work again. That's like the, that's like the third or fourth one we... Yeah, no, we gotta move. We gotta move, yeah. yeah. So there, don't waste time. You know, we've seen three or four move behind us in the past five minutes. We haven't had a hit here in the past 10, so we're moving. Yeah. Follow the fish. Not like the old days, eh? We used to just sit there and watch them <laughs> for, for hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, oh man, they're just everywhere. We've got them all feeding yeah. right below us right here. And they're nice, they're just swimming nice and slow and they're tilting down and up and they're going up and down, but right on the bottom. So they're feeding on crawny. Oh yeah, I know. They're, they're picking them off right left and center. And I just had that one hit, but a very soft take again. These are all nice fit. I, I can see seven size fish right now. Yeah, look at the size of them. I got them. Oh, you got them. Good. Excellent. Nice. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, we buddy. saw them. Down. Oh. That's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. How many colors did you try? Oh. A lot. A lot, I know. It's crazy. What color did you have on though? What did you eat? Green? Dark olive green. Dark Number, olive uh, green. 12 with a white bead. Okay. They didn't want the flash. They wanted the white bead. Yeah. All right, Don, here he comes. All right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look, look at in the beak. Yeah, right in the beak. Let's see what he's been eating. Because they're feeding on chronomus. Like we can oh. just see him cycling through here. Just feeding oh, yeah, like crazy. No, it's classic. And they're happy fish, right? They're not they're right under the boat. Like they're yep. just moving right here. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. He's gone. So let's see what he's had. What he's snacking on. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, Is yeah. he ever snacking? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. See, those are chronomies. Those are all chronies, Yeah. But a real light, beautiful. small green. Green. Oh, beautiful, beautiful green. What a size 14. Yep. Well, that's what we're putting on. Wow. Yeah. And they're just snacking like crazy. Oh, Look at that. All live. All live. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Very cool. Oh, that is so we cool. knew it was, it's a shade of green. We just got to get the green that they want to eat. And the size, yeah, and the size, color. Because I had a green on, but it's a little, it's a little darker than that. And they want the small green. They wow. want small green. That's what it's all about, eh? That's what it's about.
matching it up. You know what? I think I found one. You know, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to Brian's box. I think that's it right there. That's about the size. Yeah. You know, because you got a bigger hook, but it's still a small it's body. A, and it's yeah. the right shade. Yeah, right shade for sure. Throw so on it. Yeah, throw it out. You can see. What'd you put on? <laughs> you just changed again, didn't you? No. Oh, you didn't? You left I was it. just ready to change. Yeah, I was changing mine. Because they weren't hitting that color. Oh, nice. So again, kind of that greeny color. Yeah, they want green. Well, I'm going green. It's just a different shade. But they're definitely feeding. We see them down there oh, cycling there's, around. There's like a dozen fish I below know, us right, right now. Below us. I know. We got like a we're in an aquarium. I know. We're not even casting. We're just Look at them all it. down there. It's disgusting. It is. <laughs> Well, we got to get dialed into what they're feeding on. I mean, we are getting a few, but I think we should be nailing them. Got that guy? Well, I know what this guy's full of. Do you? Yeah. What do you think? The little green? Those green the ones. The little green guys. Well, look where we're casting. We're just essentially plopping it right there. Nice little guy. Oh, a nice fish. And there he goes. But there's some tanks down there. <laughs> I had to go a little, cast a little further out. I had to actually cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. So maybe they're finally catching on to it. Yeah, they might be, though. Yeah, I think so. They're all good fish. Oh, they are. It's beautiful in here, especially when you can sight fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, that makes it fun. Yep. Makes it a lot of fun. I got him. You got him? You better watch your indicator. <laughs> you better watch my bobber. That's a nice guy, Bry. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Nice size fish. There we go. That's a nice fish. There. Nice. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then we'll let him go. There we go. I gotta check my fly. I think he might green, be down to thread. He's out of thread. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's one, one of the nice ones, Don. Yeah. Oh, that anchor. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that. Cromer. That's a nice one. Look at that. That's dandy. Oh, look at that. That's a nice that's fish. A gorgeous fish. Beautiful fish. I know. There she goes. Look at it. Just swims down, probably <laughs> starts feeding right away again. <laughs> Joins his buddies. Doesn't even doesn't even care. That's crazy. Well, we haven't had a bite in like 10 minutes. I think they're on to us. <laughs> I think they're all over it. They know we're here now. Well, and that's funny too, because now I'm not seeing as many out No. Front. But you know what's also happening is we're, we're finally starting to see them hatch. Ah. And, uh, and so I think they might be thinning down there. Okay. The actual bugs hat coming off. And we have pricked a bunch of fish too, oh, so yeah. we haven't moved in an hour and a half. Exactly. So while it's slow, you know what we should do is probably touch on what the Freshwater Fisheries Society is up to these days. What are, what's the big things happening? Well, the, I guess the big news for 2014 is that we now have six operating hatcheries. We had previously five, and we in June of of this year we opened up the the, the Nachaco Sturgeon I didn't Hatchery. I know that. That's excellent. Yeah, on the Nachaco River at Vanderhoof, so we've got a fully operating hatchery for the recovery of the uh, the white sturgeon in the uh, Chaco River. Oh, so that's further than Chaco? Yeah. Like yep. just like the Columbia, the one these yeah. is for the Columbia? Yeah. Okay. So we've got a dedicated hatchery there and fully staffed and uh, also this year, 2014, is a big year for uh, learn to fish programs throughout the province. We've got a roving crew that goes around and uh, teaches learn to fish based out of our different hatcheries and out of Kamloops. And those are great events, right? All the kids come out. Oh yeah, no, it's, uh, we'll probably put 25,000 kids through this summer. Wow. So, and kids and families, so it's a big deal. That's a big, big And it pays off in the end. Get kids fishing when it, at a young age, and uh, there's a really, really good chance they'll take up fishing later on in life. And that's all we want to do. Plant the seed, and hopefully they'll uh, they'll take up fishing later. Exactly. <laughs> okay. 
We put, you look at, you gave the bulldog an indicator, you gave him the right fly, and now we created a monster. He's actually hooking <laughs> fish with it. Well, that's it, eh, Bri? We're back at the boat line. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get a look. Oh, and the bulldog. <laughs> so what the heck, I, I couldn't believe it. I was actually in shock. We, we thought we saw a bobber on your line. Yeah. Today. I found out the secret to <laughs> bobber fishing. You get, it's, it's, it's simple. You guys, all this time, you just get Brian to <laughs> tie on the fly. <laughs> And then you catch a lot of fish. So that all is. I needed was Brian along, tie on the fly. Well, why do you, why do you think I always use the indicator one with Brian? <laughs> that's what we do. It's the thing we do. You know, it's a great day. Halfway Lake is a, a lake that's, you know, only half an hour out of Camelos, BC. Real easy access. So if you want to come up here, I think there's no restrictions for the motor, right? And there's quality yeah. fish here. Yeah, I know. It's a great lake. Clear water. You get to see fish swimming around under your boat. Beautiful. Can't and, ask you know, for anymore. and the nice thing is we're up here for the week with Brian and Dale. And it's going to be a blast because I think, you know, we might, we've got Jacko, we've got Six Mile, we've got a whole bunch of different yeah. lakes to fish, right? Yeah. So, excellent. I want to thank the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC for stocking lakes and doing the great job they do. And when you come out here, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. Great day, guys. The excellent. Bulldog, the bulldog with the indicator. <laughs> To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.